Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the review for this Afterlife uh, Solar Power uh, Bank which I unboxed about 20 days ago and I'm sorry for the delayed review and I'll talk about why the review was delayed. Uh, so this is the boxing uh, and I've already done the unboxing so you can check out that uh, to figure out what comes inside the box. And this is the product itself. Uh, it's a uh, charger that uh, power bank having a capacity of 5000 uh, milliamp hour and it has two usb uh, ports and uh, you can charge it conventionally via a usb cable or it also has this uh, panel over here via which it is supposed to be charged and if you notice i actually now have two units and you'll be surprised why the reason for that is that as a normal power bank it has been working fine if you charge it with your uh, what do you say uh, mobile adapter it is working fine but uh, when i tried to use this as a solar charger i kept it outside also indoor also for solar charging and as you can see this red light is glowing and according to the manual and i also talked to the company that means uh, it is charging but uh, i noticed that it simply does not charge the power bank i kept it outside for about uh, three days also and also uh, the company claims that in even with the indoor lighting like this it should charge uh, but the fact is that it simply does not charge uh, i kept it like this for for about four days and uh, when i just plugged in my mobile phone within about 15 seconds it is completely discharged and it was not charging so i wrote to the company uh, they said they it might be a defect with the unit so send, they sent me a new unit but even with this one i have the same problem uh, while conventionally charging it is working but if i try to use the solar uh, power to charge it and i even kept it for about four days the company claims that within six to eight hours it should charge but that's not the case so uh, simply talking i just cannot recommend this product because you might be getting this product because of the solar uh, features but in my testing it simply does not work uh, with solar power it does simply cannot charge the internal batteries of this device maybe both the units that i got might be defected but i highly doubt that yes as a conventional power bank it is working fine uh, but uh, that's not the use case scenario with this device and uh, also with the conventional power bank i have one flaw with this device uh, they don't have a micro usb slot over here they have a uh, what do you say mini usb slot so i have to carry one extra cable because most of the mobile phone chargers come with a micro usb slot and uh, for the price i simply cannot uh, recommend this device because it's being uh, sold in india for 2300 rupees yes i would have recommended it if uh, the solar charging would have worked as advertised but as of now it simply does not work so i simply cannot uh, uh, recommend this product thank you for watching this video this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video